Now that you've found UBN Radio and discovered our quality talk shows, it's time to spread the word to friends, family, and the universe. 24 hours of music and talk. Radio without limits. That's why people keep coming back for more. That's UBNRadio.com. The Marla and Dave Radio Experience begins in 3, 2, 1. Now, if you're ready, we will begin. Welcome to the Marla and Dave Radio Show. This is reality radio with a couple that keeps it real. Current events, pop culture, music, relationships, fitness, the hot topics of the day. Marla and Dave Thomas. This is the Marla and Dave Radio Show. Real radio. Turn up. Turn up. Hey. Welcome to the Marla and Dave Show. Wait. Hey, I was so behind. Okay. Did, did you like how I said that? Turn up. No, Dave. First of all, our children are ashamed. Turn up. Okay, that, stop that. We get turned up. Okay, stop that. Your grammar is way too correct for what you're doing right now. You're not supposed to, like... We get turned up in here. Be all on the consonants like that. You're supposed to say, turn up, turn up, turn up. You're not supposed to... It's like, turn up, turn up, turn yes, up. Yes, I'm just not meant to speak in anyway, that fashion. I'm Marla. And I'm Dave. Welcome to the Marla and Dave Show again. Hey, that's about the fifth time. Welcome to the Marla and Dave Show. You should There's feel welcome six. by now. Are you, are, you, are you guys good? Are you welcome? Anyway, thanks for joining us, um, everybody who's here in the chat room. Today is going to be a very interesting and informative show. I'm excited about today's show. Are you? Why? Um, because first, let me share. Let me talk about my mood. My mood is. Um, go we Tony. got all kind of people stopping by. Go Tony, go Tony. <laughs> Hit me with my mood. I'm ready, baby. Oh, I like that. Just can't deny a woman's worth. What? Wait, did she say a real woman knows that a man comes first? That a real man knows a woman's worth. What? Oh, okay. That's okay. What? Yeah, I thought this shit, the man comes first. Don't just don't. I like that. I, that is a that's my kind of woman. Tony, you, hit me. You you didn't choose that song. Okay, thank you, Tony. Pow, 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 pow. Whatever a girl wants. You you went a little shallow, didn't you? Shallow how? No, um, uh, she was Dave. saying she was saying that she she thanks me for what? giving her for knowing what a girl wants. Well, for my uh, vocabulary and my intuition when it comes to female needs. Okay, Dave. Well, you only need to worry about one female, and that's you've heard I'm every I'm every woman, so right. maybe. Hey. And lucky for you, I'm about. F- 50 women all wrapped up in one, so your life's work That's will true. never be finished. That's true. <laughs> it's interesting at all times, to say the least. Let's talk about our week right quick in review. You've been um, buzzing around in and out of town, but let's not talk about you. Let's talk about some Marla drama. Do you want to? <laughs> yeah. Okay. We might as well. All right, good. Well, first of all, for those of you who are looking on again, you might recognize, hey, your hair, once again, is a little bit different. It is. And I want to thank Tasha for that. Um, I had a little catastrophe, and I had some people who said they could do something they couldn't really do too well. I had to get it all undone and redone. But the good news is... Looks great. That's the point. And so the bottom line is, ladies, you know what? Don't avoid the weave. Just find a weaveologist that works. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Okay, anyway, so I got rid of that drama. I shook it off. Huh? Back to you. Hey, well, I just got back from New Jersey. Shout out to Joseph Jobert, conductor extraordinaire, and the New Jersey Symphony Orchestra. Boom. Dave, that's it? That's it. Merry Christmas. Hey, coming Did around you? the corner. I hope you're ready. <laughs> I hope you're ready. We are definitely not ready. Can you and guys, we'll, we'll get to that later. Can, uh, can our audience see a pattern here? Like Marla with many issues and very verbose, and Dave with like two words. He We'll, we'll get to that later. He just he just minimized an entire like Christmas tour with the symphony down to hey Joseph O'Bear, Merry Christmas. All well, right, we have uh, a, a great show planned for you today. We're talking about what single women really want. Okay, here's a question that I'm going to ask before we even get started because I like people to be able to call in and comment. Um, is being single and independent a banner that women have single women have fought very hard to wave? 
Is is this what the fight has been about? I'm single and independent, and technically, we don't need you. You guys can answer that. We'll be right back. You're listening to the Marla and Dave Radio Show on the Universal Broadcast Network. Current events, pop culture, the hot topics of the day. It's time for Mad News on the Marla and Dave Radio Show. Ladies and gentlemen, Marla and Dave. Okay, here's what's popping. Um, as everybody knows, well, if you don't, if you have your head in the sand, let me pull it out for you. Um, there's a movie that's out now, really is the number one movie, but it's called Exodus, Gods and Kings. And it sparked outrage in certain religious communities. And they're inci- it's incited them to call for a boycott of the movie because they're mad that it's not, it's very inaccurate biblical interpretation is upsetting. Well, I, I think that's ridiculous. If you want to get explicit biblical information, you open the Bible. If you want to get entertained, you go to the movies. Right. And so how- now sometimes it can kind of cross in between. You go to church, you got an entertaining preacher. And sometimes that preacher might not be so close to what the Bible actually says. Are you going to boycott going to church because of that? But, 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 th- but there's, some, there's a word here that I think we should all keep in mind. And it's really interpretation. Because if you really consider religion in a whole, there's only one truth written in the Bible. But it is seriously interpreted many different ways. Hence, you have different religions that agree to believe in one particular interpretation. And then they gather together and then they're Baptist and now, they're this Methodist is, and they're blah, 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 blah. This is going to seem like a flip-flop. But if you really are mad about it, the only way to get your point really heard Go to Ferguson. is to boycott. Go to Ferguson. Actually, put it, hit him in the pocket. And march on something that matters. That's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking if you really want to boycott something, let's just choose something that's a little more constructive if we want to cast our vote in the way of avoiding something. This That's has been thinking. the Mad News. What's popping in our world? Marla and Dave, back to the show. This ain't your mama's radio show. Can you handle the truth? Then get ready for a real radio experience. Real radio experience. Ladies and gentlemen, Marla and Dave. 323-284-7386. That's the number to call in and talk to some single women. Okay, so let me also throw this out here. There's not just single women in the room today. We have also, we, we're, we are equal opportunity uh, parents. And I actually invited our son, who's home for the break, to join us. David Reginald Thomas II, welcome to the Marlon Dave Show. That is my name, and, and thank you for having me. Well, well, I actually thought that DJ was just a student in well, the that's room. Why, that's we what invited I was, him to that's come, what I, well, you, come yeah. hang out. Okay, yeah. yeah well, I, he's here actually. Did I stop you from saying what you were going to say? Yeah, well, say? I was going to finish because I also want to introduce each one of our guests and, and tell Indeed. you all why I chose these two ladies to join us. Um, but in the meantime, yes, D, you may glance at the women once. Go ahead. Say hello. How you doing? Okay, now put your <laughs> hand back in your pocket. <laughs> and there we go. So now DJ is going to be, he's going to get a lesson today. And um, let me first introduce um, the young lady in the middle, um, Felicia Henderson, who I've known for, a, I've known these ladies, I met I met them both. And I have had interaction way outside of Marlon Day with both. And I invited them because we have a lot of conversations. And Alexis by the way, on the end, I'm going to welcome Alexis Lawrence as well to the show. Thank you. And our conversation was concentrated in a lot because she was with me on a girls retreat. And Felicia's has been over a long period of time, but a lot. Hmm. So hmm. we tend to come together more often. But I like the perspective that I think they're a little bit different. But we want to get to hear from each of you um, about what it is as single independent strong beautiful women that you are actually looking for and what what do you feel that that is going on in the world of singleness and men and you wow why well, thank you thank you're you welcome for the warm welcome and thank you for the, the accolades i mean raw single woman hey, yes. <laughs> we're, we're doing this. it out here you're hey, doing it huh right? okay but let us know what you're doing what are you what are you doing so you we're figuring it out you know we're exploring our options we are um exploring ourselves i think um learning more about ourselves to be better partners for whoever we choose to be with yeah i think so. the biggest part is learning yourself because you really can't you really shouldn't date until you know who you are 
What? Whoa. That means that wow. right now at 46, <laughs> I, I technically, know. Dave, I have got to leave you. I don't know who the hell I am. I'm well, about here. You know, at least that makes us even. <laughs> so, <laughs> so wait a minute. Now, now, now you said you're figuring it out. You're exploring. Uh, uh, and Alexis, you said you shouldn't date. Until you know who you are, when does that ever, when can you definitively say, I know exactly who I am? Well, let's say you should go out on dates, but you shouldn't be in a relationship until you know who you are, because otherwise you're just going to be that, you're going to be a reflection of that person or what that person projects onto you. Okay, ladies, mm. is, is being single um, really mm -hmm. at this point for the, for the two of you, is it a choice or do you think that it's just an unfortunate circumstance? Well, I mean, I actually have a, I have a man. Okay. Uh, I have a man. Okay. okay. So you must so, know yourself. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I I never thought like getting having a man was never a problem. Right. It was just selecting the right person I want to share, you know, that time with. My time is valuable, you know. I have a very fulfilling life. So, I want to make sure that if I'm sharing that with that experience with somebody is somebody worthwhile. So, so now That's let me it. ask another question. When you said I have a man, yes. are you married? No. No, she's single. No, I'm single. Oh, so By you definition. still consider yourself single, but you have a boyfriend? Yes. Okay. Yes. So you're dating? Uh, one person exclusively. Okay. Yes. So at that point, now that means that out of all the other guys that you could have been dating, that you might have been dating, you said, you know what, I'm going to spend some extra time with this one guy. True. What made him the one? Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. That's a deep one. Listen, listen, listen up, DJ. Um, I think it's the the challenge, the challenge, and the um, the the diversity of the the relationship. I think it keeps me challenged. So, well, well one of the things I'm gonna say, I'm gonna jump in with this right quick yeah. to both of you, and Felicia, you're not from Los Angeles. No, I'm not. But how long have you been residing here? Um, I've been in Los Angeles a little over a year. Okay. Yep. So oh, you're a you, newbie. Yeah, yeah, you you weren't here long enough to actually be tainted, but okay. Right. Well, <laughs> but, no, I was in D.C. though. I was in oh, D.C. Oh, okay. Though. That's a whole nother breed. <laughs> so I can talk about that. Okay, so they oh, we will. They they say that being in Los Angeles, dating is harder, and Alexis has is already given me the lip. It's like, girl, you better do open it up. Do you agree with that statement that L.A. is a difficult ground for for dating? Well, coming from Huntsville, Alabama, not from there, but that's where Shout I lived to before I came wood. here. <laughs> um, coming from out there, it's there are definitely more options. So I will say that's a that can be a good or a bad thing. How can there be more options in a place where there's like a a, a micro fraction of people compared <laughs> to here? There are more. There are more options here. Oh, oh okay, 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 okay. Definitely. Okay. So I definitely, you know, get asked to give my number more often. And so, you know, you have more options, but then are they really better options? So it's as far well, as like. That's a question for you to answer. Yeah, as Tell far us. As, as far as sincere options, it really isn't much different than Huntsville, which is surprising to me. Just so, more volume. So right. it sounds like. Less sincerity. <laughs> right. So it sounds like what we really need to figure out, Dave, is are we actually, have we watered down? this the the man selection have we thrown our son little trout into is the big fair? is that fair to ask him or is that something you need to be asking me well about? we raised you so well, what i'm saying to you is uh, as, did, did we raise you i'm talking to dave right i'm talking to you too what do you think Dave? do you think that this is this is what do you think about the quality of young men um because you're you're a 20 something headed towards you know would the, you consider yourself a quality a quality young man dj I feel like okay, you have see? to think. No, that's have scary. To think. Wow. I, I'm going to be honest, though. I'm going to be honest. I'm not a perfect man. I'm still working well, towards no one, no one, becoming, the man that, becoming the man that I need to be. But, yeah, no, I feel like I'm worth it. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So, so okay. We now, here's my other question uh, to both Felicia and uh, Natasha. It, do you think there's too much pressure on dating, especially when you say you shouldn't uh, – you sh Alexis, you should. Did I say Natasha? I'm sorry. I was still thinking about Marlo's hair. Alexis. No. <laughs> uh, uh, the funny thing, you said you shouldn't date until you know yourself, or at least get serious about dating until you know yourself. Um, but to me, that's putting a lot of pressure on dating. Sometimes it's just fun to go out to the movies, sometimes it's just fun to go out to get a bite to eat. 
I agree. I do think that you should go out on dates. Oh, okay. And I don't think, I mean, you as you go through your life, you're going to continue to learn more about yourself. But I think you should know the general basics of yourself, the things you like to do, the things you don't like to do, the things you want in a relationship or that you believe that you want and the things that you don't believe that you want and where you're going. In and this don't you think you find those things out when you go on dates? In other words, man, you know what? I guess I don't really like this kind of guy. I feel like you can know that without that. Having conversations wow. with men. You can have conversations with men without going on a date with them. Okay. But do you think every... Uh-oh. What, Felicia? I don't know. It I, It took me a while to figure it out. <laughs> so it so you, so to you need to be out. on that date? I, well, yeah, I need to be on that date because I need to experience, you know, whatever it is I'm supposed to, whatever lesson I'm supposed to come out of that experience with that person. So, like, for me, it's like I can do a self-assessment, but... I think that when you're in a relationship, it kind of magnifies issues, if you will, um, about what, you know, issues you might have with yourself, issues that may happen in the relationship, you know. So otherwise, I probably wouldn't be dealing with it mm -hmm. if I wasn't in, you know, dating. Well, here's another question, and, and I know DJ can't, can't ask this question, so I'll ask for him. Is there a financial prerequisite when it comes to the kind of guys that you're looking for? Uh, no. Nah. No? <laughs> no, no, no. Wow, he no. can just have no money and that's cool with you? Well, that's that's the whole control thing I told you. It's the whole, for somebody who's a, I don't know, I'm a working, you know, single you, young you lady. Got your, you got your ends. I, I, I'm educated, you know, I make a, uh, I have a good paying job, you know, I live in West Los Angeles. Like, you know, I have a lot going for myself. So it's okay, and I boo, I got you. That's what you're Sometimes saying? you understand that people aren't really there you know i don't know well, well, we, well that's, we're that's awesome we got that's and, awesome and felicia you hit on something the last time you and i spoke yeah you said girl i got i got a control issue and i said we'll talk about that so yes. hold that thought okay and when we come back i also want to talk about should should sex where does sex fall in this whole thing and should it be a part of the dating process when we get back all right man. Learn something. 26 years of marriage from two unique perspectives equals 52 years of relationship experience. It's time for Ask Marla and Dave. Answers to your questions about life, love, and relationship based on Marla and Dave's real life experience. It's about to get real. Ask Marla and Dave. <laughs> it is about to get real. Yeah, I just saw the question. Ah! <laughs> okay, so this is, this is where, by the way, for all of you who watch... This is where you write in, send us messages. You can send it on Facebook, our inboxes, the MarlinDaveShow.com, wherever you want to send it. And if you ask us, we'll tell you the truth. Here's what you want to know. The question is, you and Dave, speaking of Marla, are very open, so here it goes. Do you guys do sexual role play in your relationship to keep things hot in the bedroom? Now, you mean outside of the ass-out chaps that Dave has to wear? Uh, Dave does whatever it takes. <laughs> Dave really wants to get some, so Dave does it all. Earmuffs, DJ. Running um, man. Look. <laughs> jump off the couch. Okay, Dave, that's not bed. role play unless you who you being. MC we call Hammer. that the Superman. <laughs> um, I, I think that to Marla's answer that. Marla's getting all discombobulated, yeah, yeah. blushing. I, I like to play a radio talk host. That Does that work for you, Dave? No, I'm That works, Marla. Back to you. <laughs> <laughs> I think that I, I, I think that experimenting in the bedroom <laughs> experimenting in the bedroom is definitely something that should should be it should be an open place for invention and creation and fun together. Period. I don't think that there should be bedroom boundaries unless somebody's hurting somebody. Thanks so for sending us your question. If you don't ask, we, we can't, can't tell. tell you. Welcome back to the Marla and Dave radio show. Marla and Dave want to talk to you. Phone lines are open at 323-284-7826. 323-284-7826. So right quick, we have a question uh, in, in the chat, chat room. room. Sandra says, have either of uh, Alexis or Felicia, have either of you found uh, that men of today, especially younger ones, want women to take care of them? <laughs> Okay. And Natasha, I mean, I keep saying Natasha. Said one Felicia, more time. Felicia, you don't seem to mind that. It's 
it's more of a, I, we takes it back to that, that control thing. I, I think for me, I like to maintain control. And so like, it's easy for me to dominate in a area of finance or, you know, an area of nurturing, you know, whatever that is. It's easy for me to do that. Hmm. So is that just part of knowing who you are? Because that, so, so all the roles, it seems like, I'll put it to you this way. I've been married, as you guys know, 26 years. And for me, um, there there seem to be, I must say, for my generation, uh, which is weird because it's right on the fringe, but there was a very clear almost expectation um, for most women did this and men kind of did this. And even in our relationship, to be totally honest, you know, I'm a better money manager by far than Dave, but Dave is the earner. So if he is a man who doesn't want to relinquish control of his money for my management, then we got another kind of problem. You know what I'm saying? So in other words, but it is that way. So what you're saying is what's wrong with the shoe being on the other foot? Alexis, you agree? I think that's okay. As long as you're okay with yourself. If you're okay with making him the same, making more than your man and he's okay with you making more than him or you managing the money, I think that's fine. I think you should have the same financial goals, though. You can't have like somebody that's just going to spend frivolously. To me, I think it's important for you to be in, of the same mindset in regards to spending and what you actually have, the plans you actually have for your money. Right. Well, in the chat room, Sandra says she feels like she needs to talk to the young ladies of today to stop taking care care of these guys <laughs> i mean because I she wants you to find a guy that can can, can something has something to offer well, you he, he should definitely be nurturing and taking care of me but i think as a woman you're just naturally going to try to nurture and take care of him as well but i definitely think he should do that as but well. don't you think i think it's, it's a it goes both ways hold on don't you think if you're nurturing and you're taking care of all the provisions that you you if, if you're doing it all you're actually doing it what are you doing other than getting sexually serviced excuse me for being blunt hey now <laughs> <laughs> you're getting sexually serviced and even if he's emotionally comforting i think that the problem is and this is just being real men have are created to do a particular they're men yeah. so so they provide yeah. Uh, because they, they're actually conquerors. They're, it's it's unnatural for you to run out in the field and throw a spear. If I could take I it was all actually, the way back to the... I was actually going to ask DJ, hey, does that too. seem to relieve some of the pressure of being a young man? Because I don't know any other option of a young man other than to try to go out and, and get with... That's your one thing. And get his. <clears throat> does it relieve pressure? Yeah. question? Um, <laughs> I mean, no. <nah>, because <laughs> ultimately, for real, like... No man is gonna feel comfortable with the being taken care of by his wife or girlfriend. No or real man, right? Yeah, no yeah. real man. Right. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I just came out of a relationship where, you know, she she would always try to act like she was the one that was doing the most, and this, that, and the third. She always used the the phrase eighty twenty. But ultimately, who I, was the eighty? She was the eighty. She, she was the eighty. She said but, she was the eighty. Okay, right? Yeah, which was a whole other thing. But whatever. Um, like I said, I feel like no man wants to hear those things. Mm-hmm. No man is going to feel comfortable in that type of situation. But ultimately, you know, everything is for a season. And if you feel like it's 80-20, you better believe that there's going to be a time where the roles are switched and you're going to feel real dumb if you're putting that in somebody's face and then the roles get switched and then that person therefore puts it in your face. You know what I mean? So I, I, right. you, that's at a time where you're growing. But go ahead, Felicia. I was going to say, you know, his. That has been the trend that I've noticed about myself. Hmm. But moving forward and, and in my current relationship, I, I, I find that it's I enjoy a balance. You know, I don't even in, you know, I enjoy partnership. Mm-hmm. I enjoy just sharing, you know, the weight with someone else. I don't think you necessarily have one needs to be dominating the other. I think it's, you know, at all phases of the game, we're going to have to help one another. So um, I feel more comfortable moving forward in something like that on the long term versus When I was dating, you know, casually, it really didn't, you know, I didn't have much expectations because I didn't expect the long longevity of the relationship. Well, if I have to do it all, I feel a very dry spell coming on me. I'm just saying. (laughs) Well, you better be flowing then. (laughs) Anyway, so (laughs) you heard it here Uh, first. Um. (laughs) Well, let's let's. And let, we, I mentioned dry spell. You don't all know what I was talking about. So let's let's move into that. Let's talk about sex. Let's talk about the fact that women are waiting so much longer now mm-hmm. to commit in relationships. And I've heard so many single women that I know personally say, I got to get my needs met. 
Like, in other words, for me, it's just about the it's just about being serviced, so to say. And that seems to be that's more than 50 percent of my my beyond 20 somethings. That's unfortunate. So so you so you say what? I think I think that's unfortunate. I think that's unfortunate if that's all you feel like you can get out of a situation like you should definitely be able to get more out of your situation than that. Right. Well, I mean, if you're if mm. you are the type of woman who really is into their independence and they relish that and they really don't need a man. Um, uh, but when they want to have their quote unquote needs met, uh, is that something that's uncool as far as you're concerned or does that complicate issues or speak to that? I think they need to go to the gym. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Yeah. And you need to go to the gym and find a man. Invest, or go to the gym. No, invest go in to a the toy. Gym. Invest in a very nice toy for yourself, so you can handle your business. Does you the know? toy have shoulders? How do they make these toys these days? <laughs> I feel like you need to go to the gym. You get your workout and get your endorphins flowing. Do burpees instead of babies, and you'll be Ooh. all right. She wow, said, I'm do burpees, burpees instead, instead of babies. babies. I like it. <laughs> Boy, that's speaking billboard Alexis, like Marla. Can I? Can I have you just do a commercial for me and fitness? I got you. Okay. I got you. Burpees I'll do some babies. burpees for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So so both of you believe that that's something that... So where does that fall? So so do you wait now for marriage? Is that... Yes. Bottom For me, bottom line, I'm waiting until... Felicia, what about you? Um, I'm more this is unconventional. Real... Okay. Um, I don't... I... If I, I, I don't, I've learned that I don't enjoy casual sex. So like the whole one night stand, that deal, that doesn't work for me. So, but I will. What doesn't work about that though? Let's talk about that just for a second. Is it, what is it? Is it that, is it, is it an unrealistic expectation? There's no emotional connection. So it's like, if there's no emotional connection, there's no ultimate satisfaction. So that's just kind of where I'm at with it. But I know other friends. I won't mention that, you know, may feel differently. Okay. Well, D, I have a question for you. Do you, do you, uh, find that you lose respect as a, as a young man, uh, when you're, when someone is easy. So if you meet someone and you just hook up, I had your sisters in here and of course it was way more chaos. I would like to appreciate, I appreciate the fact that you're a very manageable young man. Your <laughs> sisters were not manageable at all. Well, you're one sister. It's okay. Anyway, so do, when you meet somebody and you and you hit it on the first night, and I'm glad that you're well, not you, D. Like your life you has changed. Treat women that way. But back in the day, yeah. you bet you know. I'm sure it's happened. You're, mm-hmm. you're, unless to, I have to just take the the parent sensor off. Do you do you lose respect, or do you find that person is it, does it matter? Does sex too or too soon even does it play at all? Well, a one night stand. I feel like I never had respect for that woman in the beginning, for real. There, there wasn't enough time for me to even know you enough to respect you. Hmm. But if I'm getting to know you and we decide that we're gonna have sex, I mean, no, not necessarily. That that depends on your character, not not the fact that you gave me the sex, for real. Hmm. You know, honestly, I think a lot of times women put it on themselves. I mean, even though I am making the decision to choose to wait until I get married. Um, as in celibacy, not I'm not a virgin. I mean, I'm just being real. Right. But anyhow, in regards to the whole woman thing, I think sometimes we are so afraid that once we have that sex, then we start losing respect for ourselves and we conduct ourselves with less confidence. Right. And the, and the man feels that and they see that. So they're just responding to us. Okay, so the question I'm asking everybody out there, happy and single or miserable and married? Which one are you? I don't even know what that means. You Happy heard me, and single and miserable and married. Is, is it? Can I call are those into my things own show? mutually exclusive? You can be yeah. miserable and single. Who knows? Okay, well, those are exclusive. Then let me know. I, that's all I'm saying, Dave. We you want to call it? in? We'll find out what she means when we come back. <laughs> it's time for the Marla oh, and no. Dave doghouse. <laughs> Marla has something that should put Dave in the doghouse. Dave has something that should put Marla in the doghouse. You decide who gets a biscuit and who gets busted and ends up in the doghouse. doghouse. Okay, I I hate to have to go here, but I, I am. She doesn't hate it, but go ahead. Through there's been many times throughout our marriage that Dave has made some little errors, and it, I need better communication from my husband. Dave actually had to pay a bill. He paid the bill in my account. He went on the road, used his card, didn't see to the fact that he was out of the country, and the check that Dave wrote to me was returned 
Now, what does that do for Marla? That mm, wow. That deactivates Marla's accounts. It turns Marla's life upside down, unbeknownst to Marla. So what I'm saying is, Dave's in the doghouse for not paying more attention to financial detail. That's why I'm going to shut the door to the doghouse. Boom. Throw wow. it down on Dave that, and hand him many biscuits. That is, that is one way to shut the door. But A I'll bucket put it to of you biscuits like this. on Dave. Uh, <laughs> uh, Marla should be in the doghouse uh, <laughs> because... When Dave comes home, Dave is tired. Marla still expects Dave to do all the work around the house. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean. And Dave is the one going out I have doing a, all the work outside a, the house. I have a 25-year uh, housework credit that I'm still asking you to work off. I'm just saying. I'm, I'm kicking back at this point like this. And you know what? You are the sexiest little vacuumer I've ever seen. You kill it. <laughs> when you put wow. on those Playtex gloves and you get those dishes wow. done, makes me bite my lip, boy. Wow, mm. that's pretty cool. That's, well, that's, you vote. That's sexy role play You vote like to a see who belongs in the doghouse. <laughs> Sandra, I'm, ho- I'm hoping you hook me up this week. <laughs> I want that biscuit. What? What? What's the action? You laugh. <laughs> you learn. Huh? You learn. <laughs> You'll get mad. Shut up. You'll get happy, <laughs> but you won't be bored. <laughs> this is the Marla and Dave Radio Show on the Universal Broadcast Network. Okay, so we're going to get right back into it. Um, I asked the question, you know, because here's the thing. The way people treat single, the comments that you get with single, I just want to talk about that. I want to talk about the state of singleness. Is it something that people are stuck in? Are you trying to avoid it? More and more people are getting in it and then getting divorced and falling out of it and and i remember i'm gonna again i've spent time with both of you alexis when we were talking to the young girls at the glare retreat you said something that was very interesting you said you know life went on and a lot of her friends ended up getting getting married and having kids and going through all of that and you felt like oh well not me then all of a sudden you were like oh but at the same time you also as you as time moved on you don't you haven't had to go through a divorce you haven't had to you know manage kids in other words you haven't had to manage the outcome of certain situations that just weren't right agreed definitely um i think as you go on facebook every single day there's somebody getting engaged somebody having a baby there's something going on and but i started to see that as i'm getting older i'm 31 now and as i'm getting older i'm watching people get divorced left and right and now they're remarried again and they've got to deal with the kids and all of this and I'm just like you know what I definitely can't wait to get married I definitely want you know that to come about but I'm grateful that I haven't had to deal with a divorce because from what I understand it's one of the most terrible agonizing things to go through Um, when you find somebody that you love that you've gone through all this had kids with and Mm. then you've got to you know separate yourself from them well the other thing about it is you know when you talk about Felicia What's, yes. what's that <laughs> what's that look <laughs> no 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 i'm listening i'm just sitting back and listening but um no go ahead you got it <laughs> <laughs> hilarious yeah. well um, is that a, is that a deterrent um from actually tying the knot oh no i definitely want to get married if i could get married tomorrow i would but felicia do you feel the same um <laughs> i'm taking my time i i don't think there's any rush Hmm. Um, I'm 29, um, so I still feel like I'm in my 20s, like, <laughs> you know, um, but I do think I, I, I'm glad I'm getting to know, like, my partner, you know, hmm. and we're developing our own thing and friendship and, you know, we have time to do that and then we'll be, we'll have a time and place if things work out, you know, to be, to be husband and wife, you know, okay. and learn what that's like. So I think it kind of happens in iterations, um. You know, I respect everyone's style, so yeah. it's all good. Well, okay. the back. Oh, go ahead. I was just gonna say, people do approach you like you have the plague when you're single and you're. 31. Wow, the plague. Most definitely. Yeah. Nowadays, once you, especially really? Especially once you hit thirty, I think it was fine. It was better before I turned thirty. Now that really? I'm thirty and I'm progressing on, people are like, "What's like? Why are you single?" I've heard people tell me that I have commitment issues. Never really spoke to me. Wow. And wow. I'm like, I have commitment issues because I'm not in a relationship. I don't think that's the issue. No. <laughs> well, actually, in our chat room uh the, ba- the baxters are online and they uh first of all they they love the marlon dave show thank you guys we love you back but they're saying for for the two single women and even for dj sometimes do you feel set in your ways and not willing to change a- a- as you get older as a single person yes 
You do, right? Not okay. willing. Not. Um, I mean, it becomes more challenging to change. To compromise. Compromise, to compromise. Compromise will be hard. It's definitely harder. I think because I work with young people all the time, I learned that I have to change. I had, an, I had an exchange student that I was actually mothering for almost six months, almost a year. And so I had to learn. You have to change. You can't just cook for yourself. You can't just. So I learned to adjust. So I know that that's not. I know that that's part of what a relationship it requires what's the hell no on your list what's the hell no for all three of you guys i'm gonna start with you alexis and then you felicia and then you dj what's the one thing right now that you know about you in the dating arena that is an absolute game breaker uh we're not having sex before marriage so and you can't have two children can get, by two different women okay can he get to <laughs> what base is is a is a stopper do you get do you like do you let yourself get into foreplay? I have to ask. Do you let yourself get yes? Do you let your, what does that mean? Do you let yourself even kiss and and awaken all of that? Yeah, and what then base squash do you stop at before you say uh, you know what I, I don't go there? Oh, that's a hard one to answer. I I think <laughs> kissing is okay. Um, I think you definitely know your boundaries. My last boyfriend, we decided that kissing on the body was not okay. Like we could kiss on the lips, but if it got to the body, that was like a red flag. Do oh, oh, oh no, you didn't. Yeah, yeah. You better keep it in here. Right you better here. keep it in here. <laughs> no, you didn't. Uh, no, you <laughs> no, uh, no, no, didn't. No. no. Yeah. Hey, hey, bro. Hey, bro. North. North. Right. North. Right. 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 Oh, Felicia, what's your hell no? I can't do the broke thing anymore. Mm. Um, it's just not. It's just not healthy. Wait a minute! Isn't that a, a a contradiction to what you said earlier? Did you? you I can't do it anymore. That's my new hell no. <laughs> That's my new hell okay. no. And now, when did that start? Um, uh, this year. So is it just that he can take care of himself? You're not. You don't have the expectation for him to take care of you. Oh, that'd be nice. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. <laughs> that would be nice. You okay. know, I think anything outside of that, as long as you're, you know, keeping helping me stay emotionally stable and being a good foundation, like anything outside of that is, is awesome. DJ, what's your stop sign? Uh, my stop sign is... Let me think about this for a minute. Okay, why are you thinking? No, no, why are you thinking? No, 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 it's coming right now. Just, just a little bit of time. Well, hold on. We'll let you think about that. No, because somebody has another not. question for let you let in me, the chat room. So oh, go ahead, yeah, quickly. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. Which one? Okay, D. Here's the question for you. What kind of woman are you looking for? This might be easier if we put it in the positive realm. Maybe just a positive guy. Okay, so if what kind of woman are you looking for in a wife? And what are some of the things that you must have in a relationship? You got to have it. Okay. No, this is good. This is good. Um, I like a woman that knows what she wants first and foremost. Like, if you know what you want, then I can work with that. If I don't meet the criteria, then I don't need to be with you, first and foremost. Uh, secondly, um, I uh, I appreciate a woman that is honest in all situations. I don't ever want to feel like there is, you know, something that I need to figure out or there are puzzle pieces that i have to put together and you should already apply. know you should you should just know these things about me <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. no that's whack that's whack to me okay so 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 there you have it as far as the three of you guys are concerned that is the absolute bottom line game breaker for you no sex before marriage felicia for you hell no on the broke man mm -hmm. and dj for you most importantly somebody who knows what they want and they're honest across the board no matter how painful no matter how whatever. So is there an right. age limit? Do you guys have you guys found that dating up or down fits who you are best? Um, I've never oh, okay. I've never dated down. So up is okay. Um now that How I'm far Well you're off? requiring like he has to be like eighty to get with your program. <laughs> <laughs> He's like you find oh, she on, uh, Alexis is, Alexis is trolling at the Viagra they're counter. <laughs> wow. Like, he, because therefore wow. I'm not at least I got twenty four hours to say hey <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. Hey, we going we'll talk about we can talk about how to handle not having sex. We can do we can talk about a lot of Do you of, find that you people know, do activities. you do you think that men think that you're gaming? Like in other words, that's kind of a way to keep them yeah. like in what I got in here so good, baby. It's not gonna get unwrapped until you put a ring on it. Yeah. Do, do they think that you're you're trying to manipulate them? I think they think I'm not serious. They think they they do think it's a manip. I think they I believe they think it's manipulative. I do think they think I'm not serious. Like, oh, okay, once we get down the line, I think that's that 90 day rule that I've heard about, you know. And it's like, no, like it, that's a for real. And is this thing. A, is this part of your spiritual grounding? It's a and spiritual thing. And then I just know 
I honestly, I know that I enjoy sex, so I know that it's not something that I want to in, it's encounter. It's a major because, complication. Yeah, so I'm not going to engage in it before then because I think that intimacy is something that I want to share with my husband, and that's it for now. Well, yeah. What do you so th- your husband better look out. So yeah, he saying. definitely better look out. I was just talking to my friend and I was uh, my friend the other day and we were leaving a party and she was like, I was telling her in between the wedding and the reception, we might just have to cancel their reception. Like, <laughs> lo- like I'm just saying. Okay. Dave, we need to save our money because we need to, there, there needs to be a fire truck waiting. Yeah. Ian Mass needs to be this parked wedding. outside of wherever she's honeymooning because somebody's coming out I'm on the stretcher. Saying, That's what I'm saying. Um, so wait a minute. So go ahead. go ahead. Well, I just want to remind everybody, uh, www.marlaanddave.com. That's our website. Marla, what about our Facebook and our Instagram and our Twitter? Our Facebook, Dave, is The Marla and Dave Show. Um, it's The MND Show. If you there go you go. Facebook forward slash. The same for Twitter and the same for Instagram. And by the way, I hear Layla playing right now in the background. I have encountered some crazy off the hook, off the chain um, musical surprises during this holiday season. It's crazy. You should visit my Facebook. I got some pretty dope clips up there. Check it out. Don't you work. It's time to play the Marla and Dave <gasps> Mug <Love> Game. <laughs> Here are Marla and this Dave to explain so how it works. <laughs> okay, as you heard, it's time for the Mad Love Game. It's a game that was created by Marla and I. It has three categories, communication, finance, and sex, the three most important things in any relationship. Uh, and it is played by rolling the die that we created. Uh, the die has the three categories on it. And where you see the Mad logo, the M&D logo, that's a wild card, and you can choose whatever you want. There's also lose a turn, so we hope you don't land on that. Actually, I'm going to jump over Alexis, let oh. Fel- uh, uh, Felicia roll the <laughs> dice, and then we'll get to the question. All right. Here we go. Oh, that's communication. Oh, that's All right, so I will choose the question, and I will read it, and you guys get a chance to answer. Who values truth more once they fall in love, men or women? Who values the truth more once they fall in love? Men. Men. DJ, what do you think? <laughs> the women were quick. Yeah, no. Yeah, men. Wow, you guys are on top of your game. Yeah. Uh, men is the answer. Honest communication is so a top minute. priority for liars? men in relationship. No. But men really need it is what, what I guess what it's it, it implying. We get a little hazy. You we get wait a, little a minute, hazy. though. Let me. <laughs> What's the, what's the discussion question? Here, every card has an actual further discussion point that actually makes it fun when you're playing with a group of, of your friends. Does this rule still apply when the truth hurts? Do men want to hear like, oh, honey, you know, last night you thought you were hitting it from the back. I was actually on my phone texting. <laughs> I'm just telling you the truth. <laughs> it still you think applies. It, it still, still applies? applies? I definitely think guys. DJ? Yeah, no, yeah. Honesty. Over everything. I'm not going to be hitting it from the back then. Right. What do you think, Felicia? No, I mean, I think that men men definitely value the truth, and we don't mind a little lie. Tell me I'm looking great when my hair looks crazy. I don't mind that. Okay. Well, well Hello. we have time Hello. for one more. Uh, I mind. We have time for one more. Well, We're going to okay. jump to a quick sex question. What <laughs> sex toy? Oh, wow. Oh. What sex toy do women use most often? Rubber? No, I'm just kidding. I don't know. Honestly. I'm going to go with the vibrator. Okay. Vibrator. Felicia's going to go with the vibrator. Alexis. I Ouch. guess that's what they use. I don't know. <laughs> DJ. I don't even know what to Butt say. plug for 200, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. D, you have no no option? No. Alexis, no option? Just take a guess. I mean, I think, I don't know. Yeah, a vibrator. Well, the vibrator is the most popular sex toy for women. What else? Here, for further discussion, or their own hands. how many <laughs> other sex toys can you name? Oh my goodness. The bunny, the, beads, the rabbit, the, the Benoit beads. The <laughs> I don't it's my job to know. <laughs> we'll be we're we're, we're going to get back to the show. That's the Mad Love Game. David is a thinker. I never do anything without thinking about it first. Marla is a feeler. <laughs> I basically wear my personality on my scene. But when Marla and Dave get together, it's like a match dancing with a firecracker. This is the Marla and Dave Radio Show on the Universal Broadcast Network. 
While that color piece was going on, you might have heard us talking. I was really letting everyone know that you can buy the Mad Love Game right there on our website, www.marlindave.com, in our store. Okay. It's time for us to talk about last week's poll question, Dave. So, the question... Go ahead. ahead. The the question that we were asking last week, um, basically in light of all the charges that have been brought that have been brought against Bill Cosby, um, the rape charges. Should a rape charge have a statute of limitations? The answer possibilities were yes. Hashtag it's time sensitive. The charge is time sensitive or no. Hashtag timeless. Well, uh, 75 percent of those who answered the poll question voted no. There should be no limitations. Bill Cosby should have to stand in trial right now. And he will. Um, OK, I got it. let's get to the, let's get to next week's poll question. Um, here's a good one, guys. Is having a sexual fantasy about someone other than your partner considered cheating? Yes. Hashtag you are what you think. Or mm. no, hashtag, thoughts don't hurt. <laughs> mm. Don't. You you better cast your vote on the Marlon and Dave <laughs> website. Go to www.marlon and Dave and answer the poll question right there on the front page. Can you handle the truth? This is modern American dialogue in a mad world from two unique, fresh, transparent perspectives. This is the Marla and Dave Radio Show. I have to come right back with this. Um, Protect, Save, Grow uh, is in the chat room, and he earlier said his stop sign is he needs $80,000. Get the hell out of here. (laughs) Just because. And he said tell D to stop faking. He know he he want a freak. (laughs) <laughs> yes. it's, it's protect, save, and grow. D, D tell your mother to your face. Do you, are you looking for a freak boy? Doesn't everybody want one? I have hey, everybody one. Want, no, oh, I, oh, I'm just saying. Oh, I'm one. just saying. Are you gonna make it to the wedding? <laughs> <laughs> we don't make are you it. sure? Are you gonna get out the room? Are you, a lot of prayer. A you, lot of I'm, prayer. I'm praying for you right now, girl. I'm sending all kind of vibrators <laughs> your direction since you don't know i'm just kidding we, we want to thank alexis and felicia and dj for stopping by the show giving us the perspective of a single woman and yeah. let me just tell you guys this stay to next week you can't forget to join us we have our our fellow ubn network uh, uh talk show host claude mcknight and dave's acapella superhero mate Coming in along with Sir Hill Luis Anderson, who is an international pole dancing champion. And she is off of the chain. So we want to really just get into. And she might be able to dance on a chain. Okay, you David, never know. you might have to miss tomorrow, next week's show, because I don't know <laughs> if you can keep yourself together. But anyway, so it's going to be a lot. Get your questions together, because what I'm really trying to do, guys, is introduce different fitness formats. Because everybody gears up for the beginning of the year, and there's a lot of things that might be fun that help you get fit that you haven't considered. And you heard what Alexis said today about releasing some of that pent-up sexual tension. Burpees instead of babies! (laughs) Those burpees instead of babies. And so, ladies, right quick before we get out of here, where can people find you? Felicia? Um, You can find me, uh, my business, NovemberNoirBoutique.com. Or November Noir at gmail.com. Spelled N O I R. Um, November N O I R. Yes, Noir. Right. Yep. And you can tweet me at Lexi Live. It's L E X I L I V E on Twitter. And we're going to have to come back to you. We have to bring you back because I'm pretty sure I know what kind of you, you're in trouble. The oh, tweets no. you're going to be oh, getting. No. DJ? Oh, you don't have to fend them off. Um, I'm really not big on social media. You can find me at uh, at our house. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> nice. It's good. And, you can uh, find him at home with his mama in there. Oakwood University. That's, That's exactly where you can find, where you can find DJ. In Get the meantime, mind. thank you guys always for joining us. We're here. We love your participation. Remember, hit us up on Patreon. Keep us ad free. Support the Marla and Dave Show. We love you in advance for all of your support. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, we Indeed. Are- well, you know, at the end of the day, I'm, a, I'm just going to say this before we go. Um, whether you choose to be single or whether you choose to be married, I want you to have a fulfilling life. Uh, and and either way, don't whatever compromise. you choose, don't compromise. And don't hook up with protect, save, and grow because he ain't got eighty grand. <laughs> <laughs> Marlo's Marlo's mad because Lamont in the, in the in the chat room said, "Does uh, that include dreams about Mimi?" When it comes to does your okay. fantasy. 
Lamont mean needs that you're a, a cheater. Censor. Lamont's about to be banned and stabbed all at the same time. We are Marlon and Dave. Thanks for checking out the show today. This is our mad world, and we are here. Join us so we can talk about Let's it. Let's talk about it. See ya.